I am adding a discount to my stickers. So I had some questions come through that asked how you do like buy one, get one or buy three, get another one at a discounted price. I'm gonna show you how to do that right in Square. Friends, I'm getting ready for a market this weekend and I just got in a new stock of stickers. Now, I would say 95% of my products are handmade, but I do outsource my stickers it's all my artwork, but I have them printed. So I was looking at the invoice for the stickers that just arrived and the price has gone up along with, you know, how I'm sure you know, supply prices are constantly going up. Normally my prices are kind of good enough to get me through the year. In January, I evaluate and see if I need to make any adjustments, but the price is high enough that I think I need to just tweak my price a little bit before my upcoming heavy market season, end of summer, early fall, right? Christmas time. So I'm going to go into my square system and I want to show you how I update not just my pricing, but also my discounts. So I had some questions come through that asked how you do like buy one, get one or buy three, get another one at a discounted price. I'm going to show you how to do that right in square. So let's hop on the computer and jump right in. So right now I'm in my items and services part of my square. And you'll see that there is a discount box here. And if you go under discounts, you can see that you can create all different kinds of discounts. I personally like to name them so I know exactly what they apply to in case I ever need to make changes. So because I already have a buy three stickers discount, I would normally just adjust this, but I want to show you how you can create one from scratch if you've never created a discount before. So go ahead and click create a discount. I'm going to name this, uh, let's see, stickers three for, three for 12. And I'm actually going to do like three plus for 12. There we go. That way I know exactly what it is. And this is our practice one. So I'm going to put test there so I know about it later. Okay. So you can choose what kind of discount you want to make. Square really only likes whole numbers. So for example, if I was doing my three for 10, if I had three stickers at $10, that comes out to three and 33 infinite cents. Square doesn't love that. So I usually like to do a set amount that makes it easy. If I really wanted to do three for 10, which I have in the past, I just make an entry that is for a $10 value, like a $10 item and call it three for 10. And then I back out my inventory later. So honestly, changing this to three for 12, which is gonna be a whole number discount. I'll show you in a second. It's gonna be so much easier. So I don't wanna do a percentage, but a percentage would be like if you wanted like three stickers and then you get them 10% off, like each one 10% off over a certain amount. I wanna do a set amount. So because I wanna do three for 12, my stickers are gonna be for 50. I wanna take 50 cents off of each sticker, but we need to set some rules in order to do that. So let's click. Uh, our discount rules. So item or category, let's decide what we are going to use a discount on. You can click done. So let's add individual items. I'm going to narrow it down to my category since I have so many items and I want this to apply to art print sticker. And you can see here in the past, I had an item that was three for 10 stickers because I couldn't divide uh, 33 cents evenly. So I just made this. And then every time I sold this particular line item. I knew it was three stickers and not just one, but it's kind of messy for inventory purposes. So I'm glad that we're kind of updating this anyway. So I'm just applying this to my art print stickers. Click done. And then I want to edit my purchase rule and I also want to select a quantity. So I want this to apply anytime there are going to be three items purchased from art print stickers. And we want to add a discount rule. Now this is kind of the bounding box, but we want to add a discount rule here. And I want this to be, so you can decide whether it needs to be exactly three stickers. And if they buy a fourth, then that goes back to full price. Or I can set a minimum quantity, which is what I want to do. So if they buy more than three stickers, the discount's going to apply to anything more than three. And you can also do a buy one, get one. So apply the discount to an additional item of equal or lesser value. But for here, we're just doing a minimum quantity. Okay, 
Perfect. From here, you can set a schedule. So if there's only certain days of the week or certain times when the discount's gonna be available, like a happy hour situation, that's gonna be available. Or you can even set a date range, like just a Thanksgiving sale or just a Black Friday sale. You can also do a minimum spend. So like you want them to spend at least $50 in order to earn whatever your discount is. Um, but for now, I'm happy. I We have our three stickers. They're gonna get 50 cents off of each sticker and that is going to apply whenever they buy at least three or more. So we're gonna click save and that is going to be in place. So let's head over to our iPad and test out our checkout system because we always wanna double check that our discounts work before we get to the market and have a very stressful moment finding out that our discounts aren't actually working. So I'm in my checkout system here in Square. This is what I use for all of my markets. This is just my regular iPad. Um, I use my Square Reader. I'll have them linked in the description below if this is a system that you wanna add to your checkout services. But let's pretend that someone comes by and they wanna order four stickers. I'm gonna go to my bookmarks and stickers category. And if you wanna see how to set up your system into categories and with SKUs, I have a whole video on that. I'll link it in the description below. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to our bookmarks and stickers and I'm gonna choose art print sticker, let's add four. So it already discounted at three, let's go ahead and add four, perfect. So that's awesome, it applies automatically and then I can go ahead and check them out. Now you can see in the past that I used to have a three for 10 sticker uh, inclusion here, so if I delete this, I had a three for 10. This was not ideal because this reads in your analytics as just one sticker even though I'm really selling three, but it was the only workaround I could get for the discount system, as far as I could tell. If anyone knows another workaround, let me know, because uh, I would love to know. Like there wasn't a good percentage, like there wasn't something smooth and easy that made this a simple discount for what I was doing. Um, so if you need to, you know, have a workaround, you can just add an item that is the price that you want to sell for, but it's just going to kind of mess with your inventory a little bit in your analytics. So I'm excited that I'll be able to uh, get rid of the three for 10 stickers and I'll be able to use my analytics another way. And again, if you're looking to get your square system and your SKU system all set up, I have a whole video on it. I'm going to leave it for you up here so you can go check it out. I think you'd really enjoy it. It helps you just be able to check your analytics as a small business and just really make checkout smooth and easy. <laughs> so I'm going to leave a video up here. I think you would really enjoy it. And again, let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Until next time, friends, happy creating.